Real-time in-between motion generation is universally required in games and highly desirable in existing animation pipelines. Our method generates transition sequences between various poses satisfying speed, controllability and quality requirements. Given the distances and the time horizons, the character adopts reasonable strategies, including different step sizes, step velocity or jumping to reach the target without inducing drifting. Post-processing is highly undesirable since motions need to be generated fast with high quality. To satisfy this, we proposed a conditional motion manifold that learns the low-level shot horizon motion dynamics by a conditional variational autoencoder. Specifically, we introduce a latent variable Z to encode two consecutive frames co-embedding and use the next frame hip velocity as a conditional variable. Then we build a sampler that samples the latent variable Z and hip velocity to generate the next frame given the last step, under the constraints of target and time horizons. For experiments, the video presents the part of the results which are not easily quantitative described in the paper. Foot sliding is an important metric for motion quality. Earlier research suffers from such problems due to average motions and drifting issues. Adding foot skating loss to RTN cannot solve this. The results in the video show that adding the foot skating loss also sometimes causes unsmooth transitions near the end frame. To test our method can handle long and short duration as the aimed transition time, we discard 30 frames from each sample and require the network to generate the sequences at 8 frames, 15 frames and 60 frames respectively. Slowing down motions are theoretically easier as foot contact can still be generated. Our method outperforms RTN in keeping foot contact. Speeding up is more difficult because it might be impossible for a character to reach the target during such a short time. But our methods still provide the best results. If the start and the end frame are within the same phase of a walking cycle, RTN motion tends to drift to the target without changing pose, while our results make fast footsteps. Besides, an extreme case has also been experimented with, which slows down the speed 100 times. Another dimension is to vary the location of the target frame. The first experiment has the target frame set further away, along the direction from the start to the target frame. Our method generates fewer bigger steps or many more small steps to fill the gap without visible artifacts. RTN usually performs at the same pace as the ground truth but fills the distance gap by drifting. In addition, we also move the target frame in the opposite direction to a location that is twice further away from the starting frame compared with the original target frame. RTN always generates visible artifacts while our method does not. We show an extreme forwarding case where the target frame is 10 meters away from the starting frame, where the longest distance in the training set is merely 5.79 meters. For some artificial cases, which cannot ensure a natural motion sequence between the start and the target frame with a given time horizon, the last frame of our generated sequence might have a visible gap for the target frame. In this regard, RTN performs slightly better because the drifting helps to fill the gap. Thanks for your watching.